guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the OVA of 22-7. Oh my god, it's literally been how long since the show ended? This in the show ended in March, and the fact that these three girls who are officially going to be joining the group today in the episode um, were shown off at the last episode, <laughs> like, I think the end of March, I don't remember what day in March the last episode came out, but... Um, I remember, I think it was maybe about a month or two later, the game came out. I played the game for, like, a couple of weeks to a month. Then I deleted it. I just re-downloaded it again. Um, it's just, it's just doing the one thing that I hate. It takes forever with the low times. So that's the one thing I kind of dislike about it. Because originally, I was going to continue playing it no matter what until it got a, um, a EN release. But then I stopped. So I'm kind of just, like resuming playing it until it gets an EN release, and then once it gets an EN release, I'll probably play both JP and EN at the same time, and it's like that, but I don't really remember everybody's names because it has been a long time since I've seen this show and everything, but I honestly cannot wait to see our, you know, our original girls interact with the three new girls and how the dynamic's gonna go. Hopefully there's maybe a new song, not really for the opening, because I feel like they're still gonna use the same opening, but maybe for the ending i'm a little hopeful but other than that let's go ahead and get started and <clears throat> three two one go i don't like that actually my water first <laughs> right, are we literally doing this right after the final episode Yeah, it seems like this right. it's either right after or the day after or a couple days. Like here they are! I love the fact this song is so good. Like, oh, it's still like, even if you haven't watched the anime in like forever and it just comes back, oh. <laughs> You know, I honestly thought this OVA would have came out months ago. I think so, June, April, March, April, May. like June or July. I wasn't expecting like September, but I get it. It said it was waiting for the last volume to come out on home video and then that's when it would have come out. Yeah, he's still there. Well, that probably took just like a day just to get it done and fixed. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, this had to be like two, either two or three days after the concert or a couple of weeks after the concert. But from the way they're saying, they're talking about the wall, it had to be at least like a day. Because the last, because like the concert was around almost Christmas. And then they're talking about having a Christmas party. So it has to still be in December. Oh, yeah, there's the other three. But they are members. Thank you, so you're so bad. Of course, this is the thing that, that came out at the end of the last episode. Mm -hmm. See, of course, you no matter what, always happy. Really, Nicole? Come here.
Michael, the mommy in the group, and I love it. I know, I know. I get that. No. <laughs> Still having a hard time on that. Come here, baby. Yeah, I just think y'all made it a little bit more popular because it's your staple food. <laughs> Did you want to come over here? You just want attention. Hmm? Yeah. I like your shirt though, that's so cute. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm here without time.
me hearing if I have like the best style just as much as Nicole did. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's getting y'all having talks since the last episode. Yeah, and then you got to think about how the fans are going to take it. I mean, I pray to God that it doesn't go like, you know, if any of you have seen this newest season of um, Aggressive Let's Go, like, oh, God, that is very... Mm. I ain't going to go into detail about it, but really, honestly, watch this season. It's really good. Where are you going, you? Yeah, but she wanted her to hear that. Yeah, and they even adding the three, which is going to make 11. You're still going to have some tough times. Of course, I know it's going to be hard. You know? Change is hard. And let me tell you something. Someone who don't even like change. It's okay. And 
be something that you all love together. I think that would be a little too much, though. But you can make them and save them for later. Exactly. That must be the cheese. Honestly, that looks good. <laughs> nice! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that must be what's her face's parents. Oh. Of course, Enrique's dad buying all the Rika merch. <laughs> There you go. This song sounds like it's going to make me cry. But in a good way. That must be 11 stars right there. Yeah, to represent all of them. Okay, I thought this was an interesting OVA. I will say that even though I barely played the game when it came out for like, as I said, like a month, about a month and a couple of weeks, two, three months and a couple of weeks, um, and I don't know if it's getting fan translations by uh, fans, of course. I still don't know that much about the three new girls, but still the girl with the pink hair, she's one of my personal favorites. And I do, li I like all three of them, but it's between the girl with the pink hair and the girl with the bob who was literally Instagramming everything. Literally me. <laughs> with some of the stuff that I do. All three of them are adorable, honestly, but I wish this was an episode that we got to know a little bit more about them because for the 12 episodes, it focused on each and every single girl in the group for the 12 episodes. While this final episode of an OVA focuses 
kind of on them, but not really. It doesn't give us a lot of more information to know their backstories and why they're doing, um, joining this group. What was the reason why? Because, like, the girl with the bob, um, she had a picture of her friend. And her thing is she's very friendly and she can instantly make friends with someone else like that. Um, our pigtail purple-haired girl is someone who is a sports type idol and she'll do amazing uh sport idol events and then um what's her face with the pink hair she is a very japanese traditional um dancer so i think she's gonna do very good as well um on that especially because it kind of reminds me with some of the idols in the idol master series who are either um categorized categorized into a modern idol or a traditional modern idol where they still have like them in outfits where it's still a, a typical, you know, regular modern s outfit of an idol, or and then they go into a Japanese traditional one, which are the most prettiest cards of them all. Like my best girl in Idol Master Cinderella Girls has um her Synfest card is her in this really traditional gown and it's so beautiful and I'm just like ah and I finally got her after playing this game for three years now. I was just so happy the day of the anniversary because I was like, oh my god, she's finally home and I missed her and I wanted her for such a long time. But yes, I, I wish we really truly got to know a teeny tiny bit more about them, but um, that's really it for the game. The game is going to give you more. And so I really hope and pray that this game does get an English release because as of right now for confirming for games that are going to get English releases, the only one that I know as of right now is going to be the D4DJ the D4DJ game that is coming out next month. And the anime is also coming out next month. So it's a great time to get into that if you want to. Because it's going to be really good. I know the anime is coming out next month. I just don't know the date. And yes, I will be watching it. Um, I think another one will be Assault Lily. Because that's coming out as an anime first. And then eventually they'll have a game for it as well. But it's not idle. It's more, it's going to be more of a RPG S style. And I think that's going to be really good for them. I think it'll do really well. But honestly, we ain't going to know if that's going to get a really English release. But I think because of the fact is D4DJ and Assault Lily are all made by the same company, Bushimo, which would also mean Love Live and anything else, Bendity. Uh, Review Starlight, you already know it's going to get an English release later on. But if this gets an English release, I really wouldn't be surprised if it does. But because it has such a fan base, but we don't know, I don't know how big the fan base is in Japan versus the fan base here in America or like what I would like to say worldwide versus Japan and stuff like that. Um, do I think it's enough? Maybe. Yeah, I think it, I think it could be. It's just really at the end of the day, how many people really want to have a translated version come to worldwide so that everyone, and I truly mean everyone, is able to play either in English or their respective languages. And I really think a lot of people, because Bandity has officially, I think, a Chinese server, and I think Love Live All Stars is also getting a Chinese server, I believe. So that kind of tells you that it is going more in depth into different countries and different languages and stuff. So it is a little possible. I mean, there's one game that I have also been playing for about three, I think this is now on its third or fourth anniversary. And I think that's, and that's how long I've been playing. So it's either it's third anniversary or it's fourth anniversary. I don't really remember because this anniversary was like two, three months ago. Um, and I have been dying since day one for it to get an EN release. But I think because um, the people who um, created the game, the company Square Enix, I don't know if they would really want to. But I mean, Square Enix for mobile games, like for EN, they only have Kingdom Hearts. And as someone who plays that game sometimes, I don't know if they would really be willing to bring that game to Ian, but honestly, we won't really know. But the opening was good. I liked it, you know, being a Christmas episode, focusing on the girls and their relationship. I kind of wish we got to see them perform the song and do a dance with it instead of it just being a music video as credit. It just would have been better in my opinion, but it was a really good episode. I mean, I would love for the show to have a second season, but if it doesn't, it was a great way to end it to have one extra episode come out. But yeah. 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the OVA of 227. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.